It is currently 7 o'clock Monday morning and somehow it feels like a second Monday because yesterday was rough. I have heard that for medical students, every day is a Monday. So uh, Sunday was a lot of prep. We have a lot of flipped classrooms this week. So I was doing a lot of prep and I'm dissecting today. Um, so that usually takes a chunk of time. So I wanted to make sure I was ahead. So yesterday was a lot of work. I have some random peak of energy right now without coffee, but I know that's going to go away soon. So we got to go get that. So this morning we're starting with a upper extremity radiology lecture. Now it's time to get ready for anatomy lab. This is my partner for today. Uh, we did the brachial plexus. Yes, how was it? Um, he was really not anatomically correct. <laughs> he was not correct. <laughs> but we did great. <laughs> it was nice to have an actual partner this time instead of... Oh, you didn't well, have a last time? No, I didn't. Oh, I was God. by myself. That sounds terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I am getting in my car to go home and shower and get all this uh, juice off of me and... Uh, Get some more studying in, let you guys know how the dissection went, and I will see you guys there. All right guys, so I am back and washed up. Anatomy Lab was quite fun this time because I actually had a partner to kind of go through structures with. Uh, she actually wasn't supposed to be my partner. I was supposed to be alone again because my partner bailed out. I don't know if this is the same person every time, but she was there without a partner, so we were able to work on the brachial plexus together. Our guy had really strange brachial plexus. If you don't know what the brachial plexus is, it's basically a network of nerves which can be found in the axilla area or your armpit area and will kind of come down the brachial or arm area and basically supply a bunch of different muscles. So it'll supply your biceps, triceps, your anterior flexor muscles, your posterior extensor muscles on your forearm. It will even go down to the tendons that will help your fingers do things like that. That's a pretty important nerve network in your body. This slide is going over the drug Spinraza and how it induces the SMN2 gene to produce better proteins in patients with spinal muscular atrophy. Okay, it is about 2.30 p.m. and we are done with official lectures for today. Um, I was super busy starting off. Uh, we started with a lot of biochemistry with two classes and a lot of flipped classroom work. So I really had to pay attention to try to answer the questions. Um, so I didn't get a lot of film time then. And then I had my Cytogenetics 2 lecture, which is basically over different types of inheritance issues um, due to chromosomal problems. And then after that, we had peer teaching for Anatomy Lab, talking about the flexors of the forearm, the nerves and the arteries and things like that, and also the carpal tunnel, the wrist area, the carpal bones, all that fun anatomy stuff. And now I have the time to kind of do some Anki cards and do some more review for tomorrow. I do have a flip lecture that I haven't prepped for that's for tomorrow, so I need to prep for that. Did y'all you, you hear that? But I do, like I said, have a flip lecture tomorrow that I do need to prepare for and do some Anki and some more maintenance. So today's gonna be a nice day of prep and maintenance. Alright guys, it is 6.45 in the morning and my hair looks like a mess. I mean, it always does, so nothing's new. Oh, let me turn on the lights. Um, I don't actually have as much work going on today, so I'm going to try to get some new um, experiences in today, you know, like um, working out and actually being active. Right now, I am going to be looking over pyrimidine and purine um, biosynthesis. And then after that, I'm gonna start going over the drugs that kind of inhibit those pathways. But today's gonna be a fun day because I am pretty much caught up. So I need to basically just stay where I am and try to just get better at what I've been learning this week. I feel like my eyes are so watery. It is actually September 2nd today, and I forgot to reset my calendar, so I'm gonna do that now. All right, we have our flip.
the classroom is one of the questions. What do you guys think the answer is? This is also a hard question disclaimer, so. <laughs> Literally was gonna update you guys at 8.50 because class was supposed to end then, and the next one at nine, but it went over 10 minutes, so now I'm rushing to class because it's 9.01. <laughs> This lecture is over enzymes and the molecular basis of drug action. So it's about 12 and lectures are over, which means that I'm going to be doing a lot of Anki, a lot of maintenance, as always, when the day is over, and um, trying to get ahead maybe a little bit. Um, tomorrow we actually don't have any in-class lectures. Don't know why, but I'm not mad about it. <laughs> it's a Thursday, so it's weird. Um, so I'm going to be trying to get maybe ahead for Fridays or maybe Monday's lectures. I don't know. At this point, there's a weird gap of free time that I have, and I'm not super sure to do with it. As I figure out, I'll let you guys know tomorrow. Um, but today was honestly so weird because today just feels off. I don't know if I'm bored, which I don't think I am because I'm interested in the topics. It's just maybe I'm just more relaxed that I don't know the details now, but I'll know them eventually. I don't know. It's weird, but I haven't really eaten much today. So I'm going to make the red beans and rice my mom bought me. I haven't shown you guys, but my mom is a great cook and she bakes and cooks and she made some red beans and rice and some fried chicken and cornbread and it, it was so good. Um, the image I'm going to show you is what it looked like when she made it and the video of my food today is not going to look as good because I'm taking it out of the fridge and just mixing it in a bowl um, but it was amazing all right I'm gonna go see if the coffee shop is open and if I can get into a steady rhythm over there we are back because the coffee shop closed so back to the normal study spot I got my own coffee shop in my very own kitchen, look at that. Same thing, right? It's 9.01 and I am crossing off the last thing of today. All right, it is Thursday and we actually don't have much to do today, which is really nice. We just have anatomy peer teaching and like a mental health lecture to make sure uh, we know how to take care of ourselves. Um, but other than that, it's a really free day, so I thought I was going to go to a coffee shop. So I'm going to go to a coffee shop with another fellow medical student and friend you guys have probably seen on the channel sometime before, and we're going to get some work done, and this is actually the first time I've actually studied school stuff with another medical student. This is the first time I'll be able to actually kind of bounce ideas off of another student and kind of uh, quiz and have them quiz me. Look what she bought me. Where's my tip? <laughs> Let's see. I'm I'm looking for the donut. Ooh. Oh, you got the bacon kind. That was the a maple, maple bacon. bacon. Ooh, yummy. Cam, what what are you doing right now? Getting a breath knocked out of me by culinary. <laughs> that's that's clever. Now I'm prepping for tomorrow's TBL while making some dinner. Let's see if I can just... Look at that. Definitely was not edited at all. In TBL, we're going over a made-up patient case where Nancy is a patient with Prader-Willi syndrome and has a rare occurrence of a pregnancy with the syndrome.
All right guys, so this morning you saw me doing some respiratory practice problems, kind of going through the different type of physiology questions that could be asked. And then after that we had TBL over prader willi syndrome. And uh, the disease is basically going to be um, associated a lot with um, immense hunger. And if the hunger isn't controlled, um, it can result in obesity. And a lot of times this obsession with food and hunger is kind of the key element of what people think about when they think about prader willi syndrome. But there's a lot of other things. Um, they're more prone to scoliosis. Uh, they're more prone to hypogonadism, which means that they're usually infertile. The biggest part of this TBL that really spoke to me is that we got to have someone come and talk to us um, whose brother is a patient with prader willi syndrome and kind of hear the story and how the differences between prader willi syndrome looks in different patients. And it was amazing to just hear the story of how they went through the process of knowing something was wrong and then being told something was wrong and the maintenance of kind of dealing with the day-to-day -day issues that come with prader willis how much effort the family has put in to making sure everything was running as smoothly as possible. Um, so it was really a great story and I felt myself getting kind of emotional. So I was like, uh, it was just a great TBL and I'm really glad and blessed and I every day have to remind myself that I'm so lucky to be able to be studying and to go in a profession that is so profoundly a part of lots of people's lives. And I don't know, I'm just in a good spot right now because I've been reminded once again today why I'm doing what I'm doing, why I study all the time. And I am now super motivated and excited to study today to become the best physician that I could possibly can be. You guys will probably hear me saying that a lot throughout my time as a med student that I have a renewed sense of energy and honestly every day I have to remind myself to keep that sense of energy. So let's go study. All right guys, it has come to the end of the Friday and we are tired out, but we're gonna take a nice break for the rest of the day and start up again tomorrow and Saturday. Tomorrow I'm actually gonna go into the lab and review over some of the structures on the body, but it has been a great week overall and I'm super excited I got to have this time with you guys. If you're new to the family, welcome. We're super excited to have you here. And thank you guys for watching. I love you all, I can't thank you enough for all the support and this channel has seen so much great growth in the past few days. So thank you again and again and I will see you guys on the very next MedHead.